Are you a dairy producer? Or do you grow grapes, nuts, fruits, or vegetables? We have it all with American Vineyard, Pacific Nut Producer, California Fresh Fruit, California Dairy, and Vegetable West magazines. Subscribe for free now at malcomedia.com. Stay current on the freshest news in your industry. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Nut Producer Magazine, reporting to you from an almond orchard in Parlier where a grower asked, what's the deal with a 10-line June beetle and if there's a possible control for it? Well, I'm here with UC entomologist David Haviland who addressed those concerns. So every year we get a, a fair number of questions in almonds about 10-line June beetle. Um, it's a sporadic pest, you usually only see it on really sandy soils, but it is a beetle that can actually uh, kill the tree. Um, so the beetle lays its eggs you know, down in the soil and the egg hatches and spends two years feeding on the roots as a grub and then the adult beetle comes out. Uh, the adult female actually, uh, you'll see here, there's some examples of holes. Um, the female will actually come up to the top of the surface of one of these holes, uh, lets a pheromone out and the males will fly around, um, you'll find her, mate with her, and then she'll typically actually go right back down the same hole and lay eggs. So if you've got one female under a tree one year, um, you know, you can get, I don't know, 50, 60, 70 grubs. I'm not sure exactly how many, um, but all of her offspring will be back under that same tree. They'll be there for two years, and then once they all become adults and mate, uh, you know, you can see the pattern there, that within, you know, four or six years, just a few beetles under one tree can become hundreds of beetles, which is enough to feed on the roots and actually cause the tree to die. Uh, the, the big struggle with this 10-line June beetle is there's not really anything you can do about it. Uh, Marshall Johnson in particular at the uh, University of California Riverside spent several years working on this pest. Uh, they tried lots of different uh, pesticides, either sprayed onto the bugs or um, sprayed on the soil where they actually you know, could leach down into the soil where the grubs are. And none of those products were effective. Um, likewise, they did some work with entomopathogenic nematodes where you actually put the nematodes in the soil the nematodes seek out the grubs and find it and then you know control them but unfortunately there's a, a mite that lives on the surface of the grubs that actually feeds on and actually kills those beneficial nematodes before they can get inside of the grub and kill it so lots of research has been done uh, funded by the almond board trying to find some solutions to this pest thus far there's really no great solution and um, just something you kind of have to watch uh, if a tree dies um, you know pull it out but beyond that, control unfortunately just doesn't really exist and uh, you know, hopefully something will come in the future. Thank you, David. Learn more about pest management in the orchard by reading Pacific Nut Producer Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgNet.com.